Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you tomorrow's fight. So I don't know, less than 24 hours away. I think it's about 12 hours away. So I'm trying to finish get this video out to right now. Dago Higa will challenge uh, for Yoshiki, Yoshiki Taki. And you got to help me with these names. Yoshiki Taki's uh, <clears throat> bantamweight title. The WBO bandweight title. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all from social media. The Boxing Book comes at you for every single major fight. Uh, we've hit the lock every week for the last four weeks. I've given you multiple, multiple locks. So join the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. It's guaranteed money. It's $5 a month. It's easy, breezy money. Uh, this one is going to be no different. This is a good money parlay that we can make this week. Uh, I'm also going to go live tonight to help break down uh, the fight and how to make money on this fight. Uh, so join the Patreon, just $5 a month. Also subscribe to our channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all, let's get into the breakdown. Yoshiki Takai. Nice straight shots. Good, good pop. Nice stalking jab, come forward guy, front foot guy, good volume, quick feet, quick jab. I like this guy. Stands in front of you and exchanges. Leaves his head on the line. He's, he's on the chin. His, his chin is out up in the air. His head's on the line. He's there to be hit. He's not a difficult target to hit, but he stalks and he stalks and he stalks. And he's got decent speed. He keeps firing off nice combinations. He likes to be at range. Great feet and... He's got great feet, and he uses his feet to maintain the range and create the space that he wants. When he wants to close the space, he does. When he wants when he wants to open the space, he does that as well. He mixes up head and body really well. This is a good offensive fighter. He feints well, and he gets in and out. He gets he does get a little sloppy. He gets a little wild. He can be tagged, but he's quick and athletic. So that plays his advantage. He's the quicker, better athlete in this fight, for sure. Uh, but he leaves himself open, and he's fight, facing a hitter. Someone's getting tagged in this fight. Goes to the body really well. Aggressive. And he commits to his shots. He throws hard. He's a good offensive fighter. He's in there to hurt you. He's in there to get stoppages. He's a good fighter. He's a good champion. He's not going to be easy to beat. He's I, I like that flicking jab he's got. He's got a nice little, well, nice flicking jab. Accurate with his, with his quick power shots from the outside. This is a good fighter. Got decent height, decent range, good speed. Difficult guy to beat. He's in there with a real nine and eight knockouts. He's in there with a real one. A guy I like a lot. Diego Higa. Not going to be an easy fight for him. Let me get my notes out here on Higa. Higa's not your typical Japanese fighter who fights tall, hooks right, he crouches in, he makes himself small. Diego Higa, twenty-one, two and one. He's got two losses and a draw. Uh, his last. Loss was a, a loss to Nishida back in 2021. He's ran off four straight wins. A uh, couple knockout victories in his last two fights. I like this guy. Um, he throws everything hard as well. He has some bad habits with his feet. His footwork isn't sensational. He doesn't have great feet. He sits in behind his high guard, crouches in, slips in, and then grinds and grinds and grinds on the inside. Two-fisted power on this guy. Aggressive and stays on you. He's like a gnat. He's, he's on you, swarming you, swarming you. Attacks the body. He's a terrific, not a good body puncher, a terrific body puncher with power in both hands. He unleashes on the inside. He's not the most skilled fighter. He's not the most you know, skilled fighter on the inside. He doesn't have the best skills, but he unleashes hard, and he's got good volume, and his power and his volume makes up for the real short, clean, and creative shots. That's not – he's a bulldog in there. He's explosive, good combination puncher. He throws in combinations. He mixes up his combinations. Excellent finisher. Once he gets you hurt, you're in trouble. He can finish. He can get you hurt, and then he can finish you when he does. The footwork, he's a little sloppy is what he is. He's not really well polished. He's a, he's a little sloppy. Uh, raw maybe is the word I'm looking for. 
But there's a lot here. And this is going to be a really, really interesting fight. To me, this is a 50-50 fight. It really is. He is a good fighter. And I, I look at the odds. And let's pull up the odds right now. He gets a plus 350. Guys, what is my rule? If it's a 50-50 fight, and I've hit on three in a row at this, you're getting plus 300 or better. Take the underdog. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to split this up. I'm going to head this two ways. Your typical bet, split it in half. Half of it goes on this fight, does not go the distance, $50. The other half goes on Higa, 50-50. I feel better about this fight not going the distance. Someone is getting put to sleep in this fight. And I, I, I can't really decide who. Since I can't decide who, I'm not betting on the guy that's minus 500. I'm betting on the guy that's 350. If I lose it, it's okay. I'll make my money back. I'll break even on this fight. Right? It, if, if he gets knocked out, that's fine. I break even on this fight. The only way I lose my bet here, like here, if, if he get, wins my stoppage, it's a payday. If Takai wins my stoppage, I break even. If Higa wins by points, I make money. The only way I lose money is if Takai loses on the cards. That's, it. That's the only way I lose money. So I like this bet. I think it makes sense. I think with the heads, it's safe. Again, I would whatever my normal bet is. So in this case, hundred dollars. I put fifty dollars on Higa on the money line at plus three fifty, and then the fight to go the distance. No, is basically paying even money. Those are the two bets I would make on this fight. Uh, if you do that and you hit on both of them, you're making 175, 225 on a $100 bet. Not bad, guys. That is not bad money. But this is a tough fight to bet. This is the, the best bet here, I think, is this fight does not go the distance. If you wanted to do something, you want to take one of the fighters by stoppage. If you want to take the under, I don't mind any of that. I think the best bet is not is the fight does not go the distance. If you wanted to take Takai by knockout, 135, plus 135. If you wanted to really roll the dice here and take Higa by KO, plus 650, that's a sexy bet. It's a sexy bet. Um, but I feel this is what, what I have here, splitting it up, does not go the distance. Higa on the money line. I feel that's a safer bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, please smash the like, uh, like button. Like, share, and subscribe. All that stuff that the YouTube algorithm loves. It is September 2nd, 2024. I will be going live later tonight from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless.